Refugees, well met. And thank you for beating back those goblins. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. I know it's drastic, but more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. We druids will be safe. As for those that took refuge here, well, may Sylvanus guard them as they continue their travels. As I said, it's a drastic measure, but the survival of the Grove is paramount. There just aren't enough supplies to support everyone. I pray no goblin arrow has grazed you. Nettie could put you to rights. She should be with the others in the inner chambers, but I doubt she'll be taking on new patients. The Grove will be locked down soon. Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. Sylvanus, guide your path. Refugees, adventurers, no one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met. And thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. I won't leave them behind. You're going to get it. Need anything else? Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. Sylvanus, guide your path. We don't even know these people. That doesn't matter. Of course it does. You would choose strangers over us. Not what I said. Can we stop shouting? No?
care about your stupid apprenticeship. Take that back. Right now. We don't even know these people. That doesn't matter. Of course it does. You would choose strangers over us. That's not what I said. Elbows Can we stop high. shouting? No? Need anything else? Of course. But please, remember, you're not the only one in need. Sylvanus be with you. No, you just care about your stupid apprenticeship! We don't even know these people. That Take doesn't matter. Hmm? Get a feel. Of course it does. You would choose strangers over us. That's not what I said. Can we stop Children. Shouting? Look. Go on. Give me a best shot. Not bad. Again. Hey, hey, keep focus. See how I used your own force against you? Oh, I can't do it. <gasps> of course you can. It just takes time. I didn't become the Blade of Frontiers overnight. Benevolent words in bothersome days. Allow me... The man's smile bends downward, and his thoughts become yours. 
An unknown face commands your mind. Blue skin, gnarled horns. I'll be damned to the hells. You are on the ship. A strange sensation courses through you, and Will's mind unfolds, secrets half revealed. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. The creature appears again. Blue skin, arched horns, and wings stretching wide behind it. Your minds part again, leaving your skull throbbing. Ouch. Careful you don't push the brain bugs too far. They'll leave you hurting. If I had to guess, you took a bumpy ride on a Mind Flayer machine, same as me. And I've been having the strangest dreams. I haven't turned into a Mind Flayer just yet, but sooner or later, my luck will run out. Been thinking I need a healer, and I reckon you've been thinking the same. I've been waiting for this druid Halsin to return. They say he's pretty powerful. He could probably help us. Problem is, the goblins have nabbed him. We better go find him before we start growing talons and tentacles. Excellent idea, but I have a condition. Look at these kids. They've no chance on the road, not while goblins infest it. I've got the grandest of plans. You and me, we kill the goblin horde's leaders. That should scatter the buggers. Frontier justice, I call that. What say you? A splendid plan. Let's chat there. Sir, are we gonna have to oh. fight hog boglins? Oh, are those worse than uh. hog boglins? Uh. Uh. Mm. Uh. Sit down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way. She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tieflin. If you ever had it to begin with. sent me a protector. You're gonna kill him too. You move. What in every hell is wrong with you? Damn you. Damn it! Why do you care if a goblin lives or dies?
If you believe anything the beast tells you, you're an idiot. It's all right, Arca. Let's go. Oh, you teeths are all boring. Believe it or not, but I witnessed a similar standoff back at the Yawning Portal. Of course, an establishment like that invites all sorts of outlandish entertainments. Suit yourself. I was merely going to remark that you handled yourself pretty well. Me. Don't care, neither. It's too late to make friends, warg me. My tribe's coming. They're gonna burn this pretty place for the glory of the Absolute and hang you by your guts. Goddess, we're burning her name across the face of the world, we are. The Absolute is gold from the sky, she is. The blessing in the storm and the storm itself. Maybe she sent you to help me. And you will, if you want to save your skin. And if the teeth stick a few arrows in us on the way out of here, don't worry. Priestess Gut will patch us up. Got a whole lab set up. Cooks up potions that fix our lads, no matter how much of a beating they take. Could probably stick your head back on if someone was to chop it off. <laughs> Mighty Booyog. A goblin healer. We really are desperate, aren't we? Get me out of here, and I'll tell you where to find her. Deal? Suit yourself. Looking forward to seeing what your innards look like. You're gonna be sorry, every last one of ya! Some bleeding hearts show up to save the druid. I'll cut you to pieces. Kill them.
Bad traps. Please. is ripe with magic.
How can I help? Yes. I won't have a word. I was watching you at the Grove Gate. You spilled enough goblin blood to fill the Chiontha. Where'd you learn moves like that? Your gift is near blinding. Your deity must have blessed you twice over. The Blade's not often keen on sharing his glory. But if he has two, better it be with a champ like you. Was a time I didn't amount to much. But then, uh, a higher purpose called to me. Killed a few goblins, freed a few captives, and I was hooked. The only life I want is a hero's. Now, let's get some rest. I do my best goblin killing at sunup. Watch how you go. There's a trap. Thank you. 
Ah, I've already spoken to your traveling companion. Well met. Have you spoken to Korga? Of course, you have your own business to attend to. But if the druids won't abandon this ritual of theirs, it will be trouble for all of us. You're the one who helped at the gate. Glad to have another sword. We might need it. The gate needs fortification. How long do you think we've got before the goblins come? Spawn, and you will wait for Korga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, let me through, Radrashem, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <gasps> Rather you not get eaten by a bear. Lives are at stake, and the cowards only care about their bloody rituals. <laughs> Come, Magrin, give him a chance. You get back. my hand and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You. Apparently Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. God, she must be terrified. A cool amor en umbra tua Hostess Bayont Protogenos Muninos. I smell drama amongst these adventures. Complexum tumum aptera otum agnostifera. If you insist. I'm 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry! Please! I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. We will speak soon enough. First, judgment must be passed. The parasite eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Come, Korga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. Very well. I'll defer to your ruling. My circle has offered grace to these outsiders. We gave them shelter from storm. We nourished their bellies. In return, these devils lured in a horde of goblins. And their spawn stole the one relic that might keep us safe. We've taken back our relic. But I will keep the fiend caged till our protection rite is complete. I was scared. They said when the rite was over we'd have to leave. But there's goblins out there and worse. And it's nice here. So I... I took the idol. I thought maybe then we could stay. Please let me go. I'll be good, I swear. Well, Paladin, what say you? Thank you, thank you. Sif, sif. Tila, to me. Out, thief. My grace has its limits. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin was- Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. That woman has more venom in her heart than a snake in its fangs. But at least the child is safe. What is youth, if not a time to be forgiven for one's transgressions? Couldn't agree more. The girl wasn't innocent, but that doesn't mean she was guilty. Yet she failed. That's what matters. You did well to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. Well seen. Well spotted. We've let a snake replace our leader. She is first druid in Halcyn's absence. With him caught or dared by goblins, None may gainsay, but more will die if her ritual is finished. I doubt those exiled by the right will survive long outside. Would you? I would give anything to see Halsin return home.
Our need is great. I will open the treasures of this grove to you, even if the circle forbids it. Halcyn is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Yes, you would say so. I know your kind. You see only villains and victims. A viper bears her fangs, defending her brood. I call her mother. You call her monster. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the writers resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. She stole the idol of Sylvanus during prayer, and interrupted the rite. Why? I don't know or care. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Sevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. I don't want blood on my hands. We have the right to defend our home. So that's what you want? To kill a bunch of innocents? I don't want to kill anyone, but I won't let this grove be harmed. Not again. I see you. Just give me a moment. This medicatrix. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what was it you needed? Good enough to tell there's nothing obviously wrong with you. A bit tired, maybe. But we're all a bit tired. Tadpole? A mind flayer tadpole? I... Uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. You've been caught mid-robbery. Your next move had best be a careful one. Your Let's go. The workshop's this way.
This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. I'll do the best I can. I'm no Master Halson, mind. He'd have your tadpole out like that. Still, we have options. Of course. Now, tell me what's been happening. Any symptoms? Strange events? Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How do you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. You know... I've spent my life treating folk, and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hells was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. Mind flayers reproduce by infecting someone with their parasite. Seven gruesome days later, the victim transforms and a new mind flayer is born. The thing in your skull, though, it's different to anything in our records. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections, and it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. Could be. But there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. The thing is, I've sent birds to find him, but the place is rotten with goblins. None of us can even get close. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned, and perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? I can't make any promises. This is like nothing we've seen before, but I know this for sure. Master Halson is the only one close to understanding these things. He's your best bet to survive. Otherwise, that vile's your only option. Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. 
All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna, and Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there, and if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath.